Hi there, I'm Kevin Churitsian and today is the day after Christmas, which means unboxing video. And I'm going to be unboxing the this thing. Now, you, you probably don't know what that is, and I don't blame you. I didn't know what it was either, so I actually already opened the box, so it's not a true unboxing, but I haven't actually taken anything out of the box yet. So what this is, is the TL32096 retractable air hose for my air compressor. I've been wanting one of these for a while. Uh, mostly my wife's been wanting one of these for a while because, well, I leave the air hose running across the garage and she trips on it. And she always yells at me to pick up my shit. And <laughs> anyways, this is kind of like a gift for me from my mom to Krista, kind of, I guess. Anyways, it's a good gift to have. I've wanted one anyways, because I hate the way that I just have cords and hoses just kind of laying around the garage, just, you know, going from one side to the other and everything else. And this is going to help me get things a little bit more organized and more presentable in here. So let's go ahead and get unwrapping. Unopening. Unop yeah, that's it. All right, now imagine this is taped and I just use my key or something that's inappropriate for such a task and run it across here and whoa, I just opened the box. Oh my gosh, true unboxing video. Oh, it's amazing. All right, so uh, inside of here, we're on top of my tall workbench, which is why you can't really see inside, but you see that we have a instruction manual up here, right on top, which says uh, what this thing is. This instruction manual is for both the 25 foot air hose um, and the 50 foot air hose assemblies, which are items TL32096 and TL32097. It's the same thing, it's just one's probably a little bit bigger and has a longer hose, uh, twice as long of a hose. So not really a big surprise there. Let's uh, go ahead and look in here and see what languages this supports. It supports English, more English, more English, more English and a parts thing on the lip back that's all English. So if you are a foreign, uh, or I shouldn't say foreign speaking because I don't know where you're watching the video at, but if you don't speak English, uh, or you don't read English, I guess, it doesn't matter if you speak English, it's just a matter of whether you read English. And if you don't read English, I'm sure this is pretty self-explanatory, so you're probably okay, but if you like to read these things, then you might have trouble because this one came in only English. So let's go ahead and continue the unboxing video. So we have a red hose in here, which is awesome because I like uh, trying to keep my stuff in the garage. Yellows and reds, that works out well for me. This is a 3 8 inch hose or a 10 millimeter hose. And there's the ID and stuff. So this was manufactured looks like in July 2018, I'm guessing. That could just be a coincidence, but I'm guessing it's July 2018. Ports uh, 300 pounds per square inch. So let's uh, go ahead and get this out of the box. Unfortunately, I don't have my camera tripod yet, so I'm doing this one-handed. All right, let's see. I think we just uh, put this down here on the floor. I think we use my feet now as clamps. I can grab this monkey style. Oh, that didn't quite work. All right, come on, feet. All right, um, stand by. I hate these things. Okay. Um, Plan two for the unboxing video. I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute. All right, so as you can tell, there's nothing left in the box now except for styrofoam. And then up over here is the hose wrapped in a uh, plastic bag of sorts. Um, it has four rollers up here for the guidance system for the hose so it doesn't get caught on the metal edges here. Let's go ahead and take this plastic bag off. Just some protector stuff, more styrofoam. All right, the bag is now off. This is the, a little bit on the heavy side to be doing a one-handed video on, I suppose. But the reason I'm doing this now instead of waiting for this tripod to come in in a couple days is because I am in the process of building a stand for my air compressor and I will, or a mobile unit for my air compressor, and I would like to be able to attach this to it and take measurements and stuff, which means I have to take it out of the box, which if I'm gonna do an unboxing video, why is the video upside down? Hold on. Okay, I'm back, right side up. Sorry about that earlier. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, this is the air hose. I'm gonna be building a mobile platform for this, 
So I wanted to have this attached to it and I wanted to be able to take measurements and everything else so I knew uh, what size everything had to be. Anyways, I'm gonna get started on that here pretty soon, but that's looks like everything that comes with this thing. There we go. And there's the stop. So this is the stop right here and then you retract it and it pulls itself back together. Pretty strong spring actually. I'm somewhat surprised by that. We'll see how it works in operation after I get this mobile air compressor station kind of uh, assembled. So uh, that's going to be probably a topic of another video maybe. Eh, maybe not. I'll probably review this at, in another video after I get the thing built. But I want to show that off properly first. This is just the unboxing video so you can see what comes with it. Just some basic instructions about... I'll go over the instru instructions. I lost the instructions. So here they are. It's on the floor. All right. So really quickly, the instruction manual, because that's all that comes with us besides this thing. I'll let you take a video look at this as I look at the instruction manual. I hope this helps. Yeah, I'm just like wasting time. Maybe have an arrow to tell you which way this thing should be turning. All right, so they have a important safety rules, which uh, let's face it, nobody's ever gonna read. All right, we also have installing the hose reel, including mounting position types. So in other words, you can position it on the wall, the floor, or the ceiling, which there's not a lot of other options out there, I guess. So that's pretty cool. You can adjust the guide arm. You can operate the hose reel. You can maintain the hose reel. That's optional, I think, by adjusting the recoil tension. Oh, that's good. So if I think that's too pulling too hard, I can adjust that. That's kind of nice. Because it was pulling kind of hard when I took it out of the box. Replacing the air inlet valve O-rings. And I can replace the hose itself. And I can also replace the spring caster. And on the back, this is nice. They have a complete breakdown of this entire thing, even though it's already assembled, they break it down completely so I know exactly what's in here too. Although they don't really give me the size of the nuts and bolts and stuff, which would have been nice if something were to break. They still tell me how it's assembled. So if something does break, it's more likely I'll be able to kind of fix it myself rather than having to go out and buy a new one. This is kind of nice. Costway, this is your product it looks like. I appreciate that. That's not something you see in a lot of tools anymore is a complete breakdown of an already assembled tool. So that's pretty cool. I, I appreciate that. If you are interested in the specifications for this, you have the air hose size. In this case, it's the 25 foot one. You also have the uh, inlet, the outlet, the pressure, which is 300 PSI again, and the maximum airflow is 25 CFM. So with that, thank you for watching. If you uh, like these product review videos that I do and like seeing the unboxing videos, I guess this is more of an unboxing than a review, please hit that uh, like button and uh, consider subscribing because that helped me grow and produce more videos, which if you like the videos, you want to see more, subscribing is a good way to encourage me to do that. So until then, I'm Kevin Tracy from ktracy.com with the Costway TL32096 air hose retractable reel. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to getting this uh, next project done. Bye.